inch or so of rain and some more quite nasty weather to come. Central and southern Scotland, still some blizzards over the hills, very strong winds indeed, and some very strong winds affecting Wales and the southwest of England. It's a vicious area of low pressure. Just look at this curl in the cloud. It's been slipping in towards the country. And that band there gave all that heavy rain. Although most of that, at least in the south, is moving on into the continent. There's the area of low pressure, unusually low, 950 millibars. And if we zoom in on that, we can see it sitting across the southern part of Ireland at the moment. It will slowly but surely drift away northwestward during the course of tonight and tomorrow. But it is going to be a painful process, and it is going to affect our weather for some considerable time to come. Bands of showers in the west, some rain, sleet and snow at the moment on our radar across the north. And that sleet and snow is going to be edging further northwards across Scotland overnight. Blizzards on the highlands to come. Over the lower levels, though, it should turn to rain, and over the southern uh, part of Scotland, it will tend to ease off. To the south, clearing skies, but a lot of showers coming into those western areas, some of them fairly heavy and sundry. There are the winds, very strong winds indeed, still up to severe gale force, storm force in some western areas and across the northernmost part of the country. Temperatures, though, should stay above freezing, I think, virtually everywhere tonight, with the exception of some of the higher parts of Scotland in that snow. The low pressure, as we saw, is still with us during tomorrow. It is going to give further showers or longer outbreaks of rain in many western parts of the country. The more central and eastern areas, I think, will have a very different day to today. It should be, for the most part, dry and fairly bright, but I think it may well cloud over in those easternmost counties. And then we have the north of Scotland with that rain and sleet edging up into the northern isles during the course of the day. Still windy, not as windy as it was today. Actually, the winds in the eastern parts of England are very much lighter, but still around gale force in the west and in the, the north. And in the far north of Scotland, those winds will once again make it feel quite raw. Temperature at best there, around 3 degrees. Further to the south, not far off normal, but of course in the west with that wind and rain, I don't think it's going to feel anything except rather